Greetings from Baku. My name is Michael Rehal, International Master, and I'm bringing you the best of the action from the World Cup. The surprise of the round was the elimination of Grandmaster Katarina Lagno playing under the FIDE flag by Marianne Gomez in the women's section. Of course, Marianne Gomez is a woman grandmaster, a very strong player from India, but Katarina Lagno outrates her by more than 250 points. So clearly it was the surprise of the round, this elimination. The key moment of the two-game mini-match was when Katarina made a huge blunder, and that would mean her elimination from the tournament. Look at the position on the on the board in the diagram. Of course, White is uh, enjoying a very comfortable position. There is no extra material, but Black, for many moves, has been stranded with this pawn on d5, which is weak, an isolated pawn. Now, the computer suggests that the best move for Lagno here is, funnily enough, to play knight to e6, check, and when the pawn recaptures the knight, to capture the knight, and although the pawns are no longer isolated, they are still very weak, and at some point will be captured. This would be a good position for Katarina, and maybe she would have gone on to win the game. However, unfortunately for her, she understood that she could capture the pawn already, and she played queen to d5, which on paper seems a normal move. But now Mariana Gomez played rook to c5, highlighting the fact that the queen and the knight are on very unstable squares. squares. The queen has to move, but there is no square to move to and at the same time keep the knight protected. So in fact she loses a piece, and this meant her elimination from the tournament. She did play knight to e6, sacrificing the piece. Very important to notice that if rook takes queen, then queen, then rook takes queen. I have to assume that she didn't see rook to c5, although it's possible that she did see it and thought that knight e6 was a good counter, but it's just not enough. After the, the exchanges, she is just a full piece down. And although she had two pawns and carried on the game till move 60, in the end, the extra piece prevailed. So this was, without any doubt, the surprise of the round.